Yeah, hi, Lauren, Steve. On its face, tonight's vote, which passed unanimously with one abstention, wasn't really all that substantive. It merely changed Cameron Park to Forest Park on one city document, years after the neighborhood voted on an official renaming. And it is important to note here that the city doesn't have anything to do with renaming. It's up for neighborhoods to decide themselves. Uh, through its bylaws. But in this case, that process has really broken down, leading to some serious vitriol amongst neighbors and even a pending potential lawsuit. It was democracy in action, and everybody had a chance to participate. Mike Lindsay's the president of the Raleigh neighborhood now known as Forest Park. He says three years ago, when the conversation over renaming the community began, he wasn't in favor. I actually wanted to keep the name and voted as such. But I stand by our process. It was open and transparent. It was incredibly, it, it, it's, it's a process that everybody should be proud of. Tonight, Mike was one of several residents to speak in favor of a text change in the last Raleigh City document where the name Cameron Park exists. It's the latest in a neighborhood dispute dating back to 2021, one that's led to lawyer letters and vitriol over changing the Cameron Park name to Forest Park due to the former's connection with the slaveholding Cameron family. It's the same debate that led to the renaming of the Cameron Village shopping area. The empirical evidence I have tells me the vast majority of our neighborhood has moved on, and it is a angry minority who, um, in, instead of wanting to even talk with us directly, they're, they're doing it through lawyers. But many neighbors, like preservationist and longtime neighborhood resident Myrick Howard, are calling foul. I think this is an internal thing in the neighborhood that needs to be fixed and not through the city of Raleigh. Myrick says he's still fighting the issue because he believes the neighborhood's bylaws to change the name weren't followed. I've lived in this neighborhood for nearly a half century, uh, chose to live in this neighborhood, and I and many, many others had this sprung upon us. Despite council ultimately moving to vote and approve the change, Mayor Mary Ann Baldwin, who abstained due to concerns over a possible lawsuit, closing the meeting on a somber note. I've had conversations with people who have told me that their neighbors don't talk to them anymore. I've had conversations with people who've said that they've been targeted. Um, I just think it's tragic. Tonight, the mayor did confirm that her office recently received a letter threatening legal action should council move forward with the vote that they ultimately approved at tonight's session. We did ask Myrick and his attorney if they still plan to pursue legal action in light of tonight's unanimous vote, but they declined to say. We're live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.